nowadays hyphenated surnames are all the rage. Tel Aviv Yafo, a city with a hyphen, a city with two names, a city that covers roughly 52 square kilometers with about 20% so-called green areas. Today there are about 439,000 official residents. According to municipal statistics taken from 2009, some 51,000 of those residents, or 12.6%, were new immigrants who had arrived in Israel after 1990. The national medium age was 29. The proportion of single parent families was high, 21%, 7% above the national average. There are roughly 36,000 students in academic institutes. According to the population consensus in 2008, Tel Aviv Yafo has about 188,000 households. 75% of them were connected to the internet. Today there are so many hotspots, everybody is connected. But you might have to move a couple of hundred meters. 45% of the men and 37% of the women are single. Good news, bad news, you choose. Today the average population is around 2.1 persons per household. The national average is 3.2. But you can't understand a city from facts alone. The population is actually more, 30 or 40,000 more. Foreign workers, legal, illegal, asylum seekers, or those just looking for a better place. Most of them live in a small area. Poverty is up, crime is up, violence is up. There are numerous charities that help, but more can be done. Not everything is perfect but still better than most cities in the States or Europe. It has seen its fair share of terror attacks, most of them before 2005. A couple of scuds, it's violent and it's bloody. But here the city starts to show its true colors. You have a terror attack and it's awful. But the city's outlook on life is you remember the pain and then you remember that you are here to live and that means going out and doing the things you always do, living life. The city's biggest plus, trying to get along and not turning to hatred. The city will accept almost anyone and try to get along no matter how different they may be. Sometimes the weirder the better. But let life be for the living. Try to do something that you either love or make money from. Go out, socialize, have fun. This city is about the small things, not about the big ones. Don't misunderstand me. Taxi drivers will probably try to rip you off. Israelis are not known for their manners. They talk loud and express their opinions. They can be pushy and rude. But then look at the small things. In the Middle East, bordered by Syria, Lebanon, Egypt and Jordan, situated in the middle, but worlds apart. Jaffa is old, very, very old, about 4,000 years old. And yes, you can even read about it in that great novel called the Bible. King David, Jonah, as in Jonah and the whale, St. Peter and a disciple named Tabitha that he resurrected. There is also evidence of a fortress built by Ramses II, best known as the Pharaoh of the Exodus. Forbes and Tel Aviv nightlife. It's a sensation of contained chaos and freedom. To put it bluntly, it's where the world goes to party. And the Lonely Planet ranked amongst the top 10 cities in the world in its nightlife category. And by now you're probably wondering, if anyone really works in Tel Aviv Yaffa? The answer has to be a resounding yes, because of the following statistic. 55% of the country's bank employers work in the city. It's not the most beautiful of cities, part is shabby and part is luxury. They manage to mix well though, but for me, it's in the small things.